The Electric Formula Sun Grand Prix was held in Bowling Green, Kentucky. You can check out the overview video I did on that event. I was able to catch up with the University of Michigan, interrupting their dinner, and learn more about their car. Enough of me talking, let's hear from Daniel. The car's named Astrum. Uh, we always pick a name that ends in UM because of U of M. And Astrum is referencing to the stars because like our team wants to shoot for the stars and uh, accomplish great things, yeah. Suncat Solar has provided our cells for us. Um, we are allowed uh, 20 kilograms of lithium ion battery. So we have our battery that um, we drive on throughout the race. The battery can be fully charged at the end of the race and we charge it through our cells throughout the day and um, the battery gets locked up at night so we can't continue to charge it unless it's the morning uh, during the charging times. It's a three wheel setup. Um, our motor is on the rear wheel and we currently have a Mitsuba motor. When we're designing the car, we wanna think about like reducing all of our losses. And when you think about it, you wanna make like the most aerodynamic car that you can. So in a sense, if you only have three wheels, um, you have the ability to make the body of your car much narrower. So you save on a lot of your aerodynamics. On top of that, another big like energy expense that we have is through the rolling resistance on the tires to the ground. So when you reduce it to three wheels, you now have less rolling resistance in your uh, vehicle. And you know, on top of that, you lose the weight of the wheel itself, and you can just package everything much more efficiently. This car can go up to 85 miles an hour. Um, we are limited by the tires actually, so theoretically the car could go faster. Um, in testing, we were driving you know, somewhere around like 85 on a track, just to see like, how our car was performing, how much energy we were consuming. We have a monocoque chassis that is also made from carbon fiber composite. Um, we use a mixture of like foam and honeycomb to basically create like a sandwich with the carbon fiber. Mostly our entire vehicle is made by that with the exception to like the nose of our car which needs to be able to send like GPS data through. So we have like a fiberglass nose and we also have the same for our canopy on the rear so that we can send like radio and telemetry to our chase vehicle. Okay. The steel tubes, that's just a roll bar for safety? Yes, that is our roll cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, we didn't previously have that for the World Solar Challenge, actually. Um, the regulations are very different, and that was like the largest change we had to make. As a result of making this roll cage, we've had to change our canopy. We've had to change our upper. Um, due to making like this hole wider in our upper, we've had to strip off all of the cells from the front and replace all of that. So basically from our car uh, at the World Solar Challenge, this whole like front half is completely different. So in the regulations, they require that you have some sort of ventilation for your driver. Uh, we pull air from our wheel well and essentially like propel it to the driver using a fan. So we kind of have like some sort of ventilation um, that hopefully helps our drivers stay cool in you know the 95 to 100 degree weather that we drive in. This year we were able to implement windowed fairings um, the way they work is as we turn the wheel, the fender of our car in the wheel basically pushes out the fairing and it allows for us to have a much narrower body and also kind of maintains like a smooth airflow as we're in the process of turning. We've worked so hard to be where we are today uh, and I think like everyone's just excited to, you know, race our best race and hopefully have some fun while we're at it. Great. Now Best of wishes. I think yeah. you're going to do great. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. Thank you. On the track at the Electric Formula Sun Grand Prix, Michigan ran into some problems causing damage that was repairable, allowing them to finish. No such problems during the American Solar Challenge. That's the rally from Nashville, Tennessee to Casper, Wyoming. They went head to head with ETS Montreal. ETS stands for École de Technologie Supérieure. Huh, not bad, huh? Only three years of French in high school, and it wasn't that I had to take the same class three times over. In the multi-occupant vehicle class, Polytechnic Montreal rolled to an easy victory. Their car was sweet looking. Yeah, sure, Michigan won that football trophy thing earlier this year, but we're talking about the Electric American Solar Challenge. Congratulations to all the participants in both classes. Check out the YouTube videos they published along the route. The scenery looked beautiful and it was mostly sunny. Thanks for watching.